This vegetable is called patai. And today we're gonna make an Australian recipe using this wonderful bean. I recently found out that you have to actually slice the beans open to check if there's worms inside. Oh my gosh, for real, there's actually worms inside it. <laughs> Luckily, it just happened to be that only one bean had worms inside and it was the first one I cut. Today's recipe is not your usual sambal and patai dish. Today we are making smashed avocado and patai sandwich. It's as easy as blanching your patai beans and then adding your avocado, lime, patai, and chili to a bowl and mixing. Then you're gonna heap it onto your favorite bread, slice it in half, and enjoy. Time for the taste test, let's see. That is just an absolute flavor explosion. I don't care what anyone says, patai and bread absolutely goes together. I cooked spaghetti patai, so delicious. Now we're gonna add in some sambal. Last but not least, the patai. Trying to get patai and spaghetti in one mouthful, okay. This vegetable is called patai, and today we're making a dish with sambal. There we go, this is my sambal patai and fried rice. Let's try it. Delicious. Have you ever wondered what this is? I too was curious and decided to give patai, what Malaysians call it, a try. I was warned that it's a little bit smelly, similar to asparagus. Chat our mind, so I'm willing to give it a go. So this is me, I pan fried it for a few minutes in some spicy sambal. I served it with some rice and it was really delicious. I really, really liked it. I was thinking, oh gosh, this is great. I'm gonna have this all the time. Especially as a vegan, this was such a great find. But then, and I think you all know where I'm going with this, a few hours later I started to get a bit of a funny taste in my mouth. It was not like eating asparagus, it was a whole new level. So anyone who is eating this regularly, my question is how? Because this feeling, this smell didn't last one day, two days. No, it was there for at least a few days. And when you can smell it, you know it's bad. For anyone consuming these regularly, your family must really love you. 